Welcome to the My High Podcast, and today is our first episode, and so what are we talking about today? I don't know, what will we actually talk about today? Um, we are going to be talking about conspiracy theories, and um, yeah. Alright, so what will be the first conspiracy theory? Um, basically the McDonald's conspiracy theory, it's called the McMillions uh, documentary mm-hmm. you could watch. Um, basically, um, this man, hold on, let me, let me look this up real quick, because I can't remember the name. Anyways, while he's searching it up, how, how are you guys doing today? You know? I hope, I actually hope you're doing well. If it's nighttime or morning, you know? Hope you're actually having a really good night or day. Or afternoon, you know? <clears throat> Alright, so the name is... Um... Geronimo P. Joe... Jacobson... Jacob... Jacobson? And basically, he was known as Uncle Jerome. And he was selling, you know, the Mon- Monopoly tickets on... Monopoly tickets on... McDonald's for two thousand dollars, and it was all to his family. And sometimes it would go to fifteen million—not fifteen million, but fifteen thousand to two thousand dollars. Depends who the person was. He does not sound like he's a really good guy. Yeah, he—he's really not. And basically, the FBI ended up getting involved, but all the the tickets he sold the people to were to his own family member for two thousand dollars, and they let them keep the rest of the money. And um, basically, he was just kind of like helping people get money, and he ended up stealing twenty four million dollars worth of money oh from all God. that scandal. Exactly. But see, the only good thing that came out of it was him giving um a million dollars to a charity. I forget the charity's name, mm. but um yeah, I'll I'll look it up. Oh. Um, but basically, the FBI got involved, and they. They went undercover as like this, um, like news show, which basically where they caught him, and then basically Geronimo or Uncle Geronimo, his nickname used to be, um, he ended up going to jail, and he now lives in Iowa, I believe, and he is in very poor health. But the the charity ended up still taking that millions of dollars since, you know, why would McDonald's take money away from a charity? But basically, that's a whole McMillions um, theory. When did this happen? Um, like, 19... Go on. Like, like, what years or, like, days, you know? It was 1996 to 2008, I believe. Alright, then kind we have of our, a bit of a while. Okay. Alright, then we have our friend over there. Do you have any conspiracy theories or no? No, I don't. Alright. <clears throat> now, this is. Surprisingly, this is just a conspiracy theory that I just learned about. Alright? Yeah. So, this conspiracy theory is where cars back in 2017. Not the movie. I don't even think there was a movie. Alright. Anyways, cars back in 2017 made by any company they were actually produced to take way more damage in the inside because there were like more and more people you know getting like mm-hmm. being born but they they don't want the earth to overpopulate then like we'd have to like move to the mars or like somewhere so- mm-hmm. somewhere random so that's why Back in 2017, in the inside, if you, damn, I saw it. if you crashed, you would practically the outside would be like hardly scratch, well, it would be scratched and broken up, but in the inside, if you did not die because in the inside they didn't have they didn't have like leather interior like where you wouldn't die, they had like that rough interior you know, like in like in cars now. Cause like it's more safer, but they mm-hmm. ne- like they didn't have leather interior, so that's why cars back in two thousand and seventeen would actually have a more higher chance of crashing. 
So, like, was it just only like the year 2017? Or did it go on for longer, you know? Uh, I think it originally started in 2015. Mm -hmm. And then it went to 2017, but people actually started to catch on. So then it just mm -hmm. stopped. And believe it or not, but I think the only brand that everybody knew, I think it was Lamborghini, maybe for like a day. But, yeah. Alright. Anyway, so Liam, do you, do you believe in that theory, or? Yes, I do. I very much like dots to connect to me, but I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm assuming you believe in that theory? Yes, I do. Because mm. I do have a 2017 car myself, but we've never crashed, so I'm kind of yeah. happy about that. Yeah. Um, <sighs> so... Can... Can we edit this out? Can we cut? Is, is yeah, it possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well... Anyways, how long have we... While these guys are doing their own things, here's one of my theories that I think should actually be more spreaded out more. So, some of you guys know the theory that my cousin just said. The Monopoly theory. Well, here's a theory that I have. Back in 2000 and... I think, not 2000, 1998, somewhere around there, if you won, like, one of the Monopoly <coughs> things for McDonald's, you would have to, like, kind of cash it in, kind of like if you won the lottery, you'd have to cash it in for McDonald's, and then, in, and then interviewers from the news would go there, but I think a year after that, they stopped. Because people would people would have just got robbed, you know, and all that. So here's kind of here's kind of what I think. I think that <clears throat> now, once you actually like win it, the FBI will like kind of track you down and kill you. Because will kind of like I guess kind of kill you or threaten you. Like they probably wouldn't kill you. But there was a really big uh, shortage from what my cousin said. Mm -hmm. And I think two ye years after that, back in 2020, they had a really big shortage because, well, what was that guy's name again? Uncle something? Um, Uncle Geronimo, or Geronimo I think, that yeah, they used uh, to Uncle Geronimo. Me. I think he kind of, like, he made the shortage, I guess, you know? So, like, that's why they had a, like, kind of, how can I put this? That's why they kind of had to kind of kill people, I guess? Because there were really a lot of people being born back in 2000. And yeah. Yeah. So, that's kind of my theory. Alright, Liam, you got a theory? Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, I know this theory. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, do same, believe same. it. There was a guy that's there was a whole earth movie. I think it was a movie and then uh there was like on the side of a earth there's like a big like hole but then after like that movie probably there was a guy that seen like a big hole, like a massive hole that was on Earth. Because he was up like 2,000 feet, probably 2 mil feet away from Earth. I don't know if that's long, Wait, but... Wait, did you uh, say 2 mil feet? Yeah. I'm that's sorry, but... That's really fucking short. Yeah, but... So, the guy was talking about his, like, how he seen that and shit, and then the people told him to stop talking about that. So he could never talk about it again. Mm -hmm. he, I think he was like a pilot, but like a soldier pilot <laughs> of the military. Mm -hmm. So he had to stop talking about it because the military told him not to talk about that. So yeah, I heard about that too. 
But like, I'm pretty sure there's like this huge giant hole in the middle of like Antarctica, and people don't want to, it's like illegal to like walk around like you're a tourist, like how you could in like LA, New York, wherever. So it's like illegal to walk on Antarctica unless like you're there for a reason. Um, mm -hmm. But basically, it's just illegal to walk around there. So it, there might be. So I do believe that there's a hollow earth. But definitely, obviously, not flatters, because, you know, that's mm. just... It's a proven that, fact that's that it's kind of already been proven already. Yeah, so... I always never believed it. Mm -hmm. So how long have we got now? Probably... 15 minutes? Because both of you guys want to go do something. Alright. Yeah. Uh, now it is your turn. My turn? Yeah, again. Okay, I don't know if any... Well, you probably might have heard of this, but it's a Britney Spears theory where... Britney Spears, back when she was around 12 to 8, she had, like, those really... Well, you know, 12 to, like, 20 until she's saying that, um... Oops, I did it again song. Mm -hmm. Um, she was not, like, those really deep opera voice, and then... Like, when she went into, like, record labels and sang, Oops, I Did It Again, she, um, became, like, you know, the kind of voice that she is known for today. Mm -hmm. And, um, basically, peep, in one of her TikToks, it's, um, that she, di she died from a car accident, or that she I was that she'd being ho held hostage, and in I read one of the comments that said the wear a yellow shirt if um if you need help, and sure enough in that video she she wore um she wore her a yellow shirt and basically all over her Instagram it's the same three pictures over and over and over again, and um. Basically, the same captain as Love You All and, like, different types of roses. And all over her Instagram is basically all roses. And I am going to play a clip of her, her old singing. Okay. I'm actually pretty sure I did see one conspiracy theory about her and her husband. Oh, yeah. So it's basically where, in one of the Instagram clips, they were working out, and then the husband said, smile. It's pretty easy to, like, it's really simple yeah. to see him saying smile. So, what I'm thinking is, she's held hostage by her husband or boyfriend, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, that's kind of what I have to add on. Yeah, I, I heard of that. I heard of that, too. Uh-huh. Uh, if we can hear the clip, that'd be nice. Oh, yeah, I couldn't find the clip, and the thing is, I found, I did find the clip of her, like, actually singing, like, in the video, but the video had no sound whatsoever, and mm -hmm. I watched this podcast, like, two days ago, but the podcast, like, May 2016. And it had the audio, and when I clicked it, it had no audio. When I looked it up, looked up the clip, it was just the video and not the audio. So the audio could have been like taken off the internet because you know people pay like fifteen thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars to get the clip off like the faces of the internet. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. <clears throat> Well, I would say that is enough, uh, podcasting, but mm. I think we should move on to some drama. Would that be fun? Okay, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, but can I make, like, another little cut? Okay. So while they're actually fixing something up for us, because this is... This the just high. our kind of... How can I put this? This is kind of our little, like, podcast room, you know? So, we have, we have the person that doesn't really like to talk, but it's fine, you know. We have the main person that tells kind of the calm conspiracy theories, you know, with the laptop. Let him get out. 
And then we have me, which I tell some pretty, pretty kind of, I wouldn't say scary, but not, not really. Then we kind of have our lights here because, well, you're going to need to see us, you know. We have our little shelf, well, not, you know. Then we have our bookshelf, then we have the picture that I put. And some of the clips were edited out for property reasons, I guess. If you want to say it like that. But, yeah. We're trying to... We're trying to keep it family friendly on this podcast. So, yeah. So, if some of the clips seem really chopped up, that's why. But yeah. This is our little room. It's actually pretty cool. You know? like this one. Alright, I'm gonna edit this part out. <coughs> but, uh, yeah. I, I feel like we should, I feel like we should have introduced ourselves, you know? Oh, so, yeah, let's go do that. Alright. Uh, let, just come back here, man, we'll all introduce mm-hmm. ourselves. Alright. <clears throat> we'll start off with the young one, I guess. Oh, my name is Liam, and I'm from Canada. Nice. Okay. You? Uh, my name is Ronan, and I'm from Canada. I'm kind of like the one that kind of runs this one, um, the podcast, but mm-hmm. that's me. Alright. And I am Jaden. I'm from Canada. And surprisingly, I'm the oldest one here. Mm. It's actually surprising. But I actually don't really act my age, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, we kind of introduce yourself. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Well, you should have done it from the beginning, but yeah. Yeah. We we kind of didn't plan that, but... Yeah. You know? It is what it is. Alright, I'm gonna edit this yeah. part out. Alright. Hi, welcome to our drama podcast, where we talk about drama podcast and set up our deep conversation about um conspiracy theories. So, um, do we have anything that you would like to talk about that's happening, like, pop culture, Liam? We'll start off, All right, we'll start what about off from you? youngest to oldest. Me, personally, not right now, but definitely later once we are more and more into the podcast. Yeah. Right? Um, so basically, Trisha Pages is having a big freak out. Um, I, she made 17, 15 videos, not too sure, on TikTok, but she made them on TikTok, and she was basically panicking about how this um guy who does Jeffree Star's wigs who said, I'm outside your house right now, come outside, I swear to God, I'm going to fight you, which is allegedly. And then she made TikToks of her crying on her bathroom floor, saying, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. And if you go on to one of that guy's lives, he does say, I swear to God, if I see you, I'm going to keep fighting you until you look anorexic. And then Jeffree Star went to Las Vegas with him and um, Trisha Paytas like a year ago and then she said they're making fun of her for being bigger than you know them and making fun of her skin or their his skin I think it's a his I don't know but his skin and then they were making fun they're making fun of her for having suicidal thoughts um her fiance his fiance wasn't outside at the time so basically, she got three of her security guards to come outside and wait for her in case that guy shows up. She looks into her window, she sees that guy, and then, um, that's basically it. Um, yeah. Have you heard about the, uh, David Dobrik? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, is any gay? Uh, no, no, he's not. I want to say this okay. is kind of a conspiracy theory, but it's not much drama, but I just kind of want to, I just kind of want to say it. Uh-huh. So, David Dobrik has been posting lately uh-huh. because people are allegedly saying he was in a car accident, even though mm. he's completely fine. Mm-hmm. But people are believing that 
he took videos before he was in the car accident. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. And there's been plenty of fights with David Dobrik and people that are saying, well, you know, people that are mm -hmm. saying he was in a car accident. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Any more, or are we good? Um, so basically, Trisha Page is supposed to quit, like, social media, like, three, four days ago, but since that drama kind of popped up, um, they're not doing that anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, she's back on social media. Um, and she did apologize to Dixie D'Amelio and, um, and James Charles. But basically, not much going on 2020 so far. But, um, that's been it. A mile higher. Um, thank you for coming here. Um, starring, in, um, Jaden and Liam. And, of course, me. Peace out.